Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a force pulling mechanic with CV2. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your watch, go over to backpack, and grab your maker pen right here. And then you're just going to want to um, grab that, and then you're going to want to head over into your palette, and right here on this very right tab, let me move over so you can see that, circuits v2, that's where we're going to be grabbing most of our chips. So we're going to click search chips here, and uh, let me move that over a little bit better. The first chip we're going to need is a event receiver. Event receiver this is the first chip uh we're going to need we're just going to place that right there and you're going to want to go to configure on your maker pen and open up this little thing right here this little window and you can go over to chip settings um and then under events you'll see update 30 hertz you're uh, definitely going to want to enable that that'll give uh, a signal every uh, 30 times uh, 30 hertz i'm not really sure how fast that is but it's it's pretty darn fast um, so the next thing we're going to need is we're actually going to head over to gadgets, CV2 gadgets, and then on the second page there's going to be a toggle button V2. We're also going to put that next to the event receiver. Uh, take that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the player's position. So we're going to use a get position ship. Um, okay, so we're going to want to get use a get position chip. You can search that up. We're also going to need a player right. I'm searching all this up. You can see in my power right here so you guys can get this. Uh, we're going to get player right hand position and player right hand velocity we're gonna place all three of those right here okay now um i hope you let me i'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer so you can see better um we're going to wire the under pressed right here uh we're gonna wire this yellow player pin to all oops, all three of these all right all three of these chips and now we're going to spawn in an if chip just search up if in your palette right here um, if okay and we're gonna spawn it in maybe right here we're gonna wire the um, event receiver update 30 hertz to that and the condition is going to be is pressed on our button so the next thing we're gonna need is rec room get object all with tag i think it's all with tag yeah all with tag and we're gonna go ahead and spawn that in also maybe above right here i think you guys can see that yep and that's gonna be the tag we put on the item we want to force grab now this is only gonna work on stuff with gravity like weapons or a sword stuff like that we're also gonna need a Game on. four each i won't go to two into detail um, this is more of a tutorial just for you guys to follow along. Um, and then we're gonna wire the rec room get all with tag into the four each. And then, um, we're gonna get the sent, uh, from if, on the if chip, we're gonna wire them to the, uh, signal pin on the four each. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is spawn in a subtract and distance chip. Uh, subtract and distance. Um, we're going to also clone over this get position chip, put that somewhere like right there, and we're going to wire the item from the for each into the get position. And then the position, uh, we're going to do one in the subtract and one in the distance, and then we're going to wire one of the player right hand velocity into the, not, not the velocity, actually we don't want to touch that yet, the get position into the distance, and the player right hand position into the subtract. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, spawn in a chip called Velocity Set. We're going to spawn that, like, I'll, I'll spawn it right here because I'm kind of running out of space. Let's maybe over here. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, you can. Okay. So we're also going to need uh, two more if chips. So I swear that we're, we're getting close to the end. We need two more if chips and... 
two more chips and that will be it the two last chips that we need are less or equal a less or equal chip we'll just spawn that down here and also a greater or equal chip a greater or equal and a less or equal now we're going to wire the distance to the less or equal and we're going to configure that pin right there you see the pin below where we wired um that little blue value we're going to configure that to 10. so just go ahead and put that as 10. just pull out your configure tool point at that pin and uh, it'll pull up this little window right here so you can see that's 10 now and for the greater or equal we're going to wire this uh oh i'm lagging a little bit here um we're gonna we're gonna wire the player right hand velocity into the greater or equal oh okay i'm sorry we need one more chip it's a vector split spawn in a vector split spawn that in right here you're gonna want to uh wire the thing to the vector split the velocity to the vector split then it's a little bit hiding beyond this chip but you're gonna you only need the y pin that Y right there. You want to take that Y, wire it to the greater or equal, and then configure the greater or equal. Configure that to uh, three. All right, we're getting really close to the end here. This is the final steps. So now all that's left to do is to continue our signal. Um, I believe, we, okay, so on the four each, we're gonna take the loop from the four each into uh the next if chip just one of the if chips and the condition for that if chip is going to be the less or equal and if that's true uh, we're going to wire the then chip to the other if chip and that's going to be the greater or equal and then we're going to continue that then to the velocity set now we only have two more wires the subtract is going to go into the direction and the target is going to be the for each so now all we have to do is configure this uh, purple pin on the rec room get all with tag. Um, you can set this with whatever you would like. I'm just going to set it as F, like for force. Okay, so I've went ahead and spawned in the paint shotgun, and I've given it the tag. You can configure these. And on this panel, uh, let me see, let me bring you guys a little bit closer right here. So you configure the paint shotgun and in its tag that'll be near the bottom here you're going to want to add the tag that you put over there on top of your gadget i put f i'm not sure if you follow along step by step like i did i uh, just put f on it and then uh after you press this button in and turn it on um it should in my microphone there it should work yeah you can see it uh kind of jumps around you can kind of you know throw it up and catch it in the air pretty uh pretty fun all right, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them.